How to divide with the 999 triple line so here i'll take a small technique here that is very very easy in order to take a nine division basically clear uh, let us understand how to take that nine division i'll go with a very small method it's a very very simple method uh, for example uh, two three two one uh, for example if you divide with the nine if you want to divide with the nine basically what do you know from the school studies uh, two three two one if you want to divide with the nine we'll do it nine and directly will get coefficient and reminder so how we take it for example if you go for nine twos it will go 18 and what is the reminder will get five and two and maximum will go nine fives are 45 and you will get seven reminder and last one i can get down one and i can take maximum nine sixes are uh, nine sixes are otherwise we'll go for nine sevens otherwise i'll take nine sevens here we'll go for nine sevens here if you go for nine sevens that will be 63 if you go for nine sevens, that will be 63. We'll get range reminder. So that means two, three, two, one. If you divide with the nine, we'll get 257 is exactly uh, whatever the coefficient we get it. Eight is the reminder. Now the same thing, how to do it in this method. Let's check uh, my method, how you make it. It's very, very easy. Now take it two directly. Now add every number with the next number. Add every number with the next number. Two plus three, five. And five plus two, seven. And seven plus one, eight. Write eight separately. Now 257 is nothing but exactly whatever the coefficient and 8 is nothing but exactly whatever the remainder. That much easy. It's very easy. So 2, 2 plus 3, 5, 5 plus 2, 7 and last one we have to write separately 7 plus 1, 8. So 257 exactly coefficient, 8 is nothing but the remainder. So simply that is how you take it. Uh, let's go for some more examples on that. Uh, for example, uh, 5, 3, 2, 4 divided by 9. Uh, let's understand this case carefully. If you take 5 directly and 5 plus 3 8 and 8 plus 2 if you get 10 here 1 here 0 here and last one here we got 10 not 10 plus 4 14 we write 14 here now look at actually whatever the number you got it here in the ending if it is more than 9 again we have to divide why because uh, 14 is divisible 9 now so how many times it will go uh, it will go one time so that we write it here before that cases 9 ones are 9 then what is the reminder 14 out of 9 if you go it 5 is the remainder then 1 here so 1 plus 8, 9. So 5, 91 is the coefficient and 5 is nothing but what you take it as a reminder. Clear. Let's take one more. 2, 3, 2, 4 if you divide by 9. So simply directly write 2. 2 plus 3, 5. 5 plus 2, 7. 7 plus 4, 11. 11 is the last case. And we have to divide with 9. So if you divide with 9, 9 it will go one time. And 2 is the reminder. 257 plus 1 we can write as simply 258. So 258 is what you call coefficient. 2 is nothing but what you call as a reminder here. To what we call it as a reminder here is it clear now similarly same cases understand with the 99 uh, for example if you 2 3 2 6 if you want to divide with the 99 so for 9 we are taking single digit here for uh, 99 we'll take two two digits for example here we'll divide two two digits now first write directly 23 now 23 plus 26 23 plus 26 is nothing but 49 so simply 23 is a coefficient 49 is reminder that much easy so 23 is the coefficient, 49 is the reminder. So if you go for one more, so 42, 85, if you take these cases, 85, 42. So if you divide with the 99, this case is same case. If you want to divide with the 99, how you do it? So 42 directly, we write it here, 42 plus 85. If I added 42 plus 85, which is 127. Again, 127 is more than 99. No? Then what do you do? Divide with the 99 plus 1. So 99, it will go one time. So 42 plus 1, 43. If you subtract 99, what is the remainder? We get 28. So 43 is nothing but what you call as a coefficient. Uh, next, uh, some more examples we'll take in the case of 99 division here. Yeah? So I have already taken two examples. Now let's take some more examples in the case of 99. Uh, for example, uh, let if you want to take it 2, 3, 2, 5 divided by 99, if you want to take these cases. So directly write 23 here. Now 
23 plus 25 48 so i can say 23 is nothing but what you call coefficient and 48 is nothing but what you call reminder simply clear if you take it one more 7 3 2 5 6 if you take in this case so same thing if you want to divide with 99 so i said two two digits actually here we have taken from the last 56 32 and we'll take 7 now directly i'll write 7 7 plus 32 uh, 39 actually and 39 plus 56 39 plus 39 plus 6 45 45 plus 50 95 so 95 is below 99 so 739 directly i can say coefficient 995 is nothing but what you call reminder if you go for somewhat bigger number so 2 1 3 2 5 4 if you take it 5 4 32 21 so directly i write 21 21 plus 32 it will be 53 actually clear 53 plus 54 107 so 107 again will divide with 99 so it will go one time so what do you write 21 here 53 plus 1 54 2154 is a coefficient in 107 if you take it 99 what is the reminder left over 8 is the reminder left over 8 is uh, let's take uh, the next continuation with that how to take the division with the triple nine cases here how to take the division with the triple nine cases so we have done with the 99 cases we have done with the nine cases and let's understand triple nine cases so for the nine we are taking single digit for the double nine we are taking two digits now for the triple nine here we'll take three digits here for example let's take uh, 234 into let be uh, 426 divided by triple nine if you want to take it these cases 234 426 divided by triple nine if you want to take these cases let's check first 234 directly will write it here so 234 if i write it here now next case 234 plus 426 i'll add it here 234 plus 426 we have added here so which will be how much uh, 660 na? so 660 is below triple nine so 234 is nothing but what you call exactly coefficient and 660 is nothing but what you call it as a reminder clear let's check one more if i go for uh, 521 plus uh, 632 if you want to divide by triple nine the same case so directly we'll write 521 first so we have to uh, add these two cases now i'll add it here so we have to add it 521 plus 632 if i add that case i'll get 1 plus 2 3 2 plus 3 5 5 plus 6 11 uh, actually this will be more than triple nine so again we have to divide one time 521 plus one i write 522 clear so 1153 uh, let's check how much more than the triple nine it will be 154 more than the triple nine so that will be the nothing but what you call as a reminder and 522 is nothing but what you call as a coefficient now simply let us understand throughout the cases what you've done here so we can remember only one point here so when you are doing with the nine division cases when you are taking division with the 9 cases, we will take 1, 1 digits. When you are dividing with the 99 cases, we are taking 2, 2 digit cases every time. Uh, when you are dividing with the 3, 9 cases, uh, what we are doing, we are taking 3, 3 digits at a time. Clear? Now? So like that, we will divide here the cases. So for the 9, we will take single digit, double 9 will take 2, 2 digits and triple 9 will take it 3, 3 digits. But so I said uh, by adding 1 by 1 to the next number, we will add it. So whatever the last number we got it, for example, in the cases. First case, if we take it, if it is below 9, directly we will take it as a reminder. If you get more than 9, that we added extra coefficient to the previous case, and the leftover will take it as a reminder. Similarly, if we get less than 99, that directly will be the reminder. If we get more than 99, so we'll divide again with the 99, the extra will add it here, and remaining is a reminder. Similarly, we'll follow for triple 9. If you want to go for double 9, double 9 also, in all the cases, the process is same. Clear? So that is how you take it 99, 9, and triple 9 divisions.